A regional park north of Auckland is almost doubling in size, giving outdoorsy types a whole lot more recreational access to the coast. The city's council has brought almost uh, has bought almost 100 hectares of private land to add to the Maharangi East Regional Park. Louise Tanuth reports. About an hour and a half north of Auckland CBD is the Mahurangi East Regional Park. Previously, the land was only reachable by sea, but now it will join the existing park, spanning nearly 200 hectares. For a cool $12 million, Aucklanders gain access to the bays, inlets and peninsula of the Mahurangi Harbour. The John and Margaret Turnbull Family Trust stumped up almost half of that, and the rest was purchased by council. Mace Ward, the General Manager of Parks, Sport and Recreation at Auckland Council, says the new land will reap benefits. Great places for recreation and picnics and family time, walking opportunities um, throughout the park, um, opportunities for conservation, um, significant uh, protection of what's iconic landscapes uh, for North Auckland. Mace Ward says there is still a lot of work to do to fully establish the new park. We need to do some um, initial development to allow that to happen, um, so some car parking, toilets, so those basic amenities still need to be completed. So it may be some time, but we're a lot, lot closer to um, having access for all Aucklanders to this parkland. Auckland Council owns and manages 27 regional parks, totalling more than 40,000 hectares. Mayor Phil Goth says as the city grows, the council will invest in more open space for Aucklanders to enjoy. I'm really proud that the council has made this investment. In fact, in the coming year, probably we'll be spending close to $50 million on new parks and public open spaces. Phil Goth says the new park is unique. But this is one of the biggest acquisitions for the reserves that we have in Auckland. It's not only one of the biggest, but one of the most beautiful. Uh, I think that when you stand up where we are here, you can feel really proud to be an Aucklander and to live in a place uh, as beautiful as this. The chance of the council gaining a park of similar size is unlikely, given its price tag and quality. Chair of Auckland Council's Parks, Arts, Culture and Events Committee, Alf Philippaina, says it's a remarkable purchase. Beautiful water, beautiful day, beautiful landscape. This is just so cool, honestly. The, the house, even the house here and where it is, but you know, it, it just the whole scene is just beautiful. Awesome purchase. Really is for our Aucklanders. The privately owned parkland includes two quaint houses, Big Bay Batch and Vine House. The owners use those for family camping and outdoor activities. Trustee Chris Gambrill told RNZ they're delighted to ensure that this beautiful slice of the Mahurangi is protected for future generations. Mote hotaka o te ahiahine, kolo ways to nuth aho.